Welcome back to another episode of Internship Thursdays. Today we have with us Asta. Hi Asta. Hi Shrishti. Could you give us a small introduction about yourself please? Sure. So I'm Asta. I've graduated from IGDTU from the Computer Science branch and currently I work in Morgan Stanley, Bangalore. And what's your role at the company? Sure. So in my company, I am a SDE, mm -hmm. but uh, since it is a fintech firm, so specifically in our firm, it's called it as technology analyst. Okay. So, I software role here? Yeah, software role. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. You cracked this company through on campus, right? Yeah. Uh, so, how did you get this internship? What were the rounds, if you could go through in detail? Sure. So, uh, the company comes in second year, mm -hmm. after the second year mm -hmm. for internships. Yes. And it was an on-campus opportunity. Mm -hmm. So Morgan Stanley conducted an online test. Mm -hmm. So the online test is very different from other companies because in other companies, the tests are on HackerRank platform, but Morgan Stanley has its own portal. Okay. So we had a different portal and the different part of this test was all the sections were time-based. Okay. So the first section was mm -hmm. normal aptitude. Mm -hmm. The second section was some core computer-based questions. And then we had three um, DSA questions based on medium and difficulty level. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the different part was you cannot juggle between all the sections. So mm -hmm. if you have like 10 minutes for the first section, you mm -hmm. need to complete the first section and then go on the next section. Next section. Uh, if you want to switch, you can't do mm -hmm. that. So the time management thing is very crucial in this. Initially, the companies I think, so they gave the privilege of switching between sections and all. But then from second week, companies also understood that they need to play with them. Yeah, exactly. So it's difficult ho jata hai because <laughs> क्या होता है कि तुम सोचते हो कि मैं इसमें टाइम बचा लूंगी और उसमें यूज कर यूटिलाइज कर लूंगी वो पॉसिबल नहीं है यू हैव टू गिव ऑल योर टेंशन टू दैट सेक्शन फिनिश इट एंड देन गो बैक सो इसमें कौन से कौन से सेक्शंस थे जैसे एप्टीट्यूड कोडिंग सो सो द फर्स्ट सेक्शन वाज एप्टीट्यूड सम 10 12 क्वेश्चंस देन द सेकंड क्वेश्चन वाज कंप्यूटर बेस्ड स्कोर यू हैव ओएस ओप्स ऑल द क्वेश्चंस एंड देन वी हैड थ्री क्वेश्चन थ्री डीएसए क्वेश्चंस एक मीडियम लेवल एंड टू वर एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड लेवल ओके And क्या टाइम लिमिट थी उन क्वेश्चन करने के ओके सो वॉट आई रिमेम्बर वर्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टू देर वॉज लाइक ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व मिनट्स एंड फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चन टोटल देर वॉज लाइक सम वन वॉज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स वन वॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स एंड द अदर वॉज मे बी ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी फाइव मिनट्स ओके सो थोड़ी थोड़ी डिफिकल्टी के साथ ओके सो ये वन सिटिंग में देना था टेस्ट और वन सिटिंग में देना था और कोई ब्रेक नहीं था एंड मेरे लिए भी ये शौक था मेरे को ये पता था टेस्ट होगा बट मुझे ये नहीं पता था कि आप भी कर सकते हो और इतना लंबा टेस्ट था एंड पोर्टल भी डिफरेंट होगा हैकर रैंक नहीं था उससे पहले जो हम टेस्ट दे रहे थे वो हैकर रैंक पे था तो ये बिल्कुल एक डिफरेंट पोर्टल था बहुत सारी कंपनीज करने लग गई आज के लिए ओके सो वॉज देर एनी सी जी पे कट ऑफ और या की बैक्स अलाउड नहीं है वो सब क्राइटेरिया थे सो फर्स्ट सी जी पी ए वॉज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड अब एंड देर शुड नो इट वॉज लाइक नो डेड बैक्स एंड नो कार्स So no types of bags. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after this round, what happened? Okay. So we had to give this test. After mm -hmm. this round, uh, they give like some shortlisted candidates, mm -hmm. and then we had the interview round. Okay. So all this happened like the test happened a day prior. Mm -hmm. And after that, when we got shortlisted, I got to know that I've I've been shortlisted. Mm -hmm. So next day, the in there were interview rounds. Mm -hmm. So there were two technical rounds, mm -hmm. and then there was one. Basically, other companies make what they call HR round. But mm -hmm. for us, it was a higher management VP round. Okay. So there was no HR round, which was mm -hmm. amazed <laughs> amazing for me because mm -hmm. I was like shocked because HR round on a day basically mm -hmm. and. There was this higher management VP coming up and talking hmm. to us. Okay. So the third round was that. The first was an online test. Then you had a technical round, and the third was. So we had two technical rounds. Okay. And the third was a higher management hmm. VP round. Okay. So could you tell us in more detail about the technical rounds? Like what questions okay. were asked? So um, the first is like the technical rounds. So first they give you a question. Mm hmm. So they give me a DSA question. Mm hmm. So. I would like give a suggestion out there कि वो जब आपको question दे when you are thinking about what uh, data structure to use think out loud there hmm. should be no black out silence between hmm. you and the interviewer there hmm. should be a conversation kind of thing hmm. the interviewer should not be like you are thinking something and hmm. there is pin drop silence you whatever you are thinking think out loud if you are going on the right uh, direction if not on the di right direction the interview interviewer will tell you hmm. that you know uh, choose something else or maybe uh, maybe you can try something out if you're not saying it to the interviewer and 
uh, at the last you are giving the solution which might not be wrong mm. that is not a good way to start mm-hmm. so what i was doing is they gave me a question whatever approach i w- was to like apply in the question i told you know i'll start like this and i it, there was a conversation kind of thing mm-hmm. so uh, when, when later i finished the question that you said that could you optimize it you can go in this direction so after that interview i was like yes maybe i have done better mm-hmm. because uh, then you were like yes yes uh, the optimization he was happy with my mm-hmm. answer mm-hmm. so and when you speak out loud the interviewer gets to know about your thinking and that is what they are analyzing in the interview that what's your thinking process how you will approach a question or a problem if given the real world yeah, yeah because it is not always the interviewer is i think that the interviewer is not always wanting that you arrive to a very yeah. right answer yeah he wants to check how are you approaching mm. how will you approach what data structures you think will be appropriate for this question mm. yes so uh, after the first technical round what was the second technical round was it the same or something new was there in it no so the second technical round started with a lot of computer core questions mm-hmm. what is different in this that in the second year mostly we think that it is just os and oops and some uh, basic questions no mm-hmm. now nowadays uh, firms basically for me they asked system design as well Okay. So in the internship they asked me some system design questions. Mm-hmm. I was prepared for it because mm-hmm. uh, when you like when I was preparing for it in the previous geeks for geeks we have I had studied for it. Mm-hmm. So they had um, I remember they asked me to like tell me a basic system design of a parking lot. Mm-hmm. So nowadays I think firms are also demanding system design not very uh, like in the depth because mm-hmm. obviously they uh, they interned me for an internship. but they do ask system mm. design so they are, had asked me a lot of system design questions and core concept questions mm-hmm. and then in the latter half they asked me two dsa questions mm. technical dsa questions mm. one i completed the other he was satisfied so he said mm. uh, it's okay it's done okay. so these two were the technical rounds mm-hmm. and then the third round was a so a higher management vp mm-hmm. came up and uh, again again i was <laughs> uh, i was shocked because the questions uh, normal hr asked he asked very different questions mm-hmm. how if i would have been in that place i would mm-hmm. have reacted very practical and corporate kind of questions which mm-hmm. i wasn't aware so it put me in a thought that you know what if i would be in that situation what will i do mm-hmm. so i really like that um, mm-hmm. that part also mm-hmm. could you give us an example if you remember any question Yeah so he told me that you know uh, he asked me i remember one question i still remember mm-hmm. he asked me that what if you know uh, you are in a team and you have a very a problem is given to you and a manager has quoted some explanation that you have to go this this way and what if you have a very different approach and it is very different from what your manager is asking how will you like talk to him mm-hmm. and how will you like tell him that your approach is a better approach and what will be the way you go and ask him as a fresher mm. so yeah i told him that you know i will tell him what are the pros and cons of my solution what mm. are the pros and cons of his solution and what could be like what could add a more business value to the so i told him then he was like yeah maybe good good answer good for answer, a fresher yeah. kind sure. of a thing so yeah yes so uh, what was the time duration of the interview rounds So yeah it was a very hectic day I still remember mm-hmm. my god all the three rounds were on one day uh, one day oh. I remember it started 9:30 in the morning mm-hmm. and it went till like 8:30ish I remember mm-hmm. and um, very stressful day okay. I still remember 8:30 the last mm-hmm. round was over mm-hmm. and then they like declared the result that day itself yeah. in like I think 11 o'clock the result mm-hmm. came up within 2 hours most of the yeah, companies they, gave they, out they, the result yeah okay so uh, so basically on one day you had your uh, online test on the yes. next day you had all your interview rounds yes, yes. okay got it uh, so on a scale of 1 to 10 how difficult do you think were these rounds compared to what's given on geeks for geeks or any other online uh, interview preparation rounds do these things match or okay. it was difficult so uh, before sitting for this company uh, mm-hmm. what i uh, like before uh, sitting for any company i would suggest that you go on geeks for geeks mm-hmm. and you sh- uh, put a filter of that form whatever mm-hmm. form is visit- visiting the campus and you shortlist all the, go through all the interviews that mm-hmm. have they have taken beforehand mm-hmm. go through all the questions 
I would not say that the interview will be exact the same, mm-hmm. but sometimes you might get some pointers or you might get some question that mm-hmm. might repeat. Why not try that luck? So uh, I, I before Morgan Stanley was coming, I went to Geeks for Geeks. I saw all the interviews, and then I realized that they ask hash map questions a lot. Mm-hmm. So I went through that, and they did ask a hash map mm-hmm. question. So okay. yeah, you should like. They will not ask everything the same, but you will get some gist out of it. Mm-hmm. So you should do this. Pura cake, then slice, will get some gist out of it. Yeah, something will get. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> help will help because uh, me ko to me ko aisa tha that uh, whatever uh, preparation before I was doing, it was a very generalized uh, preparation. Mm-hmm. For example, LinkedIn is coming. So we have to know that on campus that you know this day there is a LinkedIn test. Mm-hmm. So what I used to do two days before that, I used to go on Geeks for Geeks. Shortlist LinkedIn questions. Do all the LinkedIn questions. In, go through the interviews. So I because uh, every company there is some pattern they follow. So we also look back to the previous, previous questions exactly. that were asked. Sometimes the interviewer is a fresher as an interviewer. Yes. So they look back to the old questions that would have been mm. asked. So what I used to do, I would go through them. So brush up. They used to mm. brush up my skills. If I had forgotten something, who mm. yada jata tha. So yeah, this mm. I used to do. Okay, great. Uh, when did you prepare your coding? And when okay. did you start preparing for it? Okay, so I started like coding in second year, I would say. Mm-hmm. First year, me, I was in the dramatic society. <laughs> Never had. Tab tam classes bhi nahi jaate the coding. <laughs> Nothing. So uh, I was enjoying my first year, full first year. I enjoyed. Then I realized, oh my god, second year ke end me internships ke liye company would come. Mm-hmm. So I started preparing. Uh, In the second year, but properly, if you say, if you give your heart and soul, three four months mm-hmm. are enough. Are enough. And three four months. Three months. Three four 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 months. so uh, जैसे मैंने स्टार्ट किया था फर्स्ट आई हैड दिस गीक्स फॉर गीक्स आई बेसिकली टू गीक्स फॉर गीक्स सो आई हैड दिस कोर्स इंटरव्यू प्रेप कोर्स आई परचेज दैट कोर्स सो इन दैट आई लाइक दैट कोर्स बिकॉज वॉट दे यूज टू डू दे यूज टू हैव सम वीडियोज ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर डी एस ए टॉपिक एंड देन दे यूज टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स सो मुझे ऐसा लगता था उसको करने के बाद आई हैड ग्रैस ऑफ दैट टॉपिक तो आफ्टर डूइंग दैट आई यूज टू गो ऑन लीड कोर्ट select first i used to do easy questions do all the easy questions of that topic then select medium level do all that and hard sometimes what happens hard questions are very difficult for anyone to do and may se bhi bilkul bhi nahi hote the so what i used to do it's okay to go for a solution go to the solution analyze it what they have done what were you thinking just don't copy it that's mm. not the right way to do analyze it ki what were you thinking where were you going wrong how could you have approached it and analyze the solution try it and the next time when you go back to that question aapko yaad aayega you know we can do this mm. so i used to do like that mm. you got it and did you have a uh, computer science in 11th and 12th no i did not okay, have so you were a fresher fresh up for everything in computer mm-hmm. science you yeah. got it and uh, did you prepare anything in particular for the technical rounds for the technical rounds like uh, particularly focused for the company apart from the skills you had already learned through the courses yeah i i basically i think only dsa is not important mm-hmm. your core subjects are also very important mm-hmm. so uh, for uh, if you say oops and os i particularly went back uh, for all the theory parts i made mcqs mm-hmm. so what happened is the theory is a lot so i actually jotted down key pointers mm-hmm. went through the mcqs that all the companies are asking mm. so one of the same the mcqs are the same in every form mm. so if you like want to be like very thorough don't try to you know mug up everything mm-hmm. summarize it in key pointers so mm. that for this topic these are the mcqs that might come or they are coming a lot and mm. summarize it in key pointers so you'll remember it mm. it's easy to remember that mm-hmm. got it and uh, did you uh, prepare anything in particular for the hr round like uh, Something mm, no, did you know I did not like prepare anything for mm-hmm. the HR round. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not really. No, okay, yeah. got it. If you remember any of the questions that you were asked in the technical round, apart from hash maps or any particular question related to hash map. Okay, so I remember. I don't maybe. remember the exact question. Mm-hmm. I can quote the 
DSAs, for, they asked one question on graphs, I remember, mm -hmm. because it comes on the higher difficulty level. There was one graph question. Mm -hmm. In the technical rounds, they asked me one array question, array with sorting and uh, some other thing also. That question was with array, sorting and some one more thing was there. I don't remember. A special sorting was there mm -hmm. and one other question. So that question was new to me. I hadn't seen that question anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it was a mix of two, three things. Two, three concepts. Yeah, two, okay. three concepts. And um, I don't remember mm -hmm. too much. No problem. No problem. Uh, at the end of every interview, <laughs> you get to ask some questions to the interviewer. Yeah. So what did you ask for the technical rounds and the HR rounds? Okay. So here, you cannot, you know, at that point of time, you don't know you're in the firm, you're not in the firm. Mm -hmm. So there's a way to ask, you can't really ask directly. Mm -hmm. So I, this one of my senior told me that if you like want to ask, there is a particular way. You can just ask, can you give me a feedback of how I did? How mm -hmm. can I improve? Mm -hmm. These two ways you can ask and that way you can get a feedback also of how you can do and you can improve yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is the right way to ask and mm -hmm. one of my senior told me this. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at my point of time, I had a very list of questions, mm -hmm. but when I went there, I asked questions. Exactly. What are you talking about? At the end, it's like this. It's the last moment, so it's like this. He asked me a question. I said, I want to ask you a question. One minute, I said, you're doing it. 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 चार से पांच टेस्ट ला छह बजे रिजल्ट आ गया साढ़े छह बजे मेरा पहला इंटरव्यू है फिर अगले दिन सुबह पहुंचे हाउ वाज़ योर इंटर्नशिप एक्सपीरियंस एट द कंपनी ओके सो आई थिंक इट वाज़ द बेस्टेस्ट डिसीजन टू जॉइन मॉर्गन स्टैनली आई मीन द कल्चर ऑफ माय फॉर्म इज़ टू वाउच फॉर � they sometimes feel they're not a part of the team but Morgan Stanley makes you so comfortable the people there mm -hmm. mostly the people there they are so welcoming my team I felt like I'm entirely a part of it and every process like every process they make you so comfortable and th I mean they'll make sure that the first since an internship is like your first corporate experience so they make sure that you have a memorable time even if you're staying with them or not staying with them in mm -hmm. further they will make sure that you know you remember it so i'm vouching for it the culture at morgan stanley the people at morgan stanley and the office itself is like everyone should you know join the firm <laughs> if you get an opportunity i would say true when the company is so good then it becomes very easy to live life because pehle aap itna dar hote ho ki pata nahi kya hone wala hai kaise hone wala hai kyunki कॉलेज में इतनी आदत होती है कि आराम से हो जाएगा वहाँ पे आपको हर चीज करके दिखानी है प्रूव करना और खासकर जब इंटर्नशिप करो और पीपीओ चाहिए तो वैसे ही इतना स्ट्रेस बहुत ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस होता है यू नो कन्वर्ट हो पाएगा वेर आई मैं गोइंग रोंग कुछ गलत तो नहीं कर दिया कुछ गलत तो नहीं बोल दिया हमेशा यू नो ये रेडार पे रहते हो तुम क्योंकि तुम्हें कन्वर्ट करना है उसको बट यू नो देर यू कैन ऑलवेज इट्स सो ईजी द प्रोसेस इज सो ईजी कि यू नो इफ यू हैव लाइक अ टू मंथ्स इंटर्नशिप फॉर अ समर इंटर्नशिप यू हैव अ टू मंथ्स इंटर्नशिप दे हैव यू नो डी मार्केटेड कि you have to set your goals at this time you have to you know ask your manager where am, where am i going wrong what should i improve at this time so for everything it's so streamlined and the people have made it so comfortable and there are several you know uh, people attached to your internship like they will personally follow you up how is it going you're finding something wrong mm. or you want us to improve in this way so for that the internship the overall experience they make it very you know very easy for you so you feel that you know you're a part of the firm you're part of the team that's what great i feel very happy when all the mates are placed in a very good company and they got placed on campus all the stress to wahi khatam ho jata hai thoda easy ho jata hai on campus i won't deny that fact fark padta hai ki you are competing only in 100 200 or 300 people and bahar you are competing in lakhs and the best thing is you know company Haan, yes. i mean and jo package bol rahe wahi deke jayegi exactly. ki baad mein badal diya <laughs> so how did you tell your parents about it and what was their reaction jis din lagi aur jab ppo mila okay so uh, pura din you know the interview started 9:30 and raat tak chala and 11:30 baje i remember result aa gaya tha <laughs> and matlab hum mujhe nahi pata tha ki aaj aayega nahi aayega very like that but 11:30 baje result aa gaya oh my god i mean 
trust me, it was like the best feeling because I have manifest for me. Particularly, I had manifested Morgan Stanley because I remember second year's starting. Me, I had seen a picture on Times Square of a senior, <laughs> and I was like, "Kaise jaate hain? Ha? Kaise kaise hai ye picture? <laughs> yeah." So I was like, then I went through. Oh, you get an internship at Morgan Stanley. They put your picture on Times Square. This <laughs> is the way. So I started, you know, learning and seeing where is it, what they ask, how to get in, <laughs> and when I got in. I was like, okay, I might have manifested it. <laughs> so how did you tell your parents? What was the reaction? Tha okay, so I was, I was like, mom was, my mom was, was like, नहीं भी हुआ है ना तो मैं बता दूँ it's okay. <laughs> There are other companies. I am the start you है. It's like, but mummy हो गया है. So she was like, okay. So you know, उसमें क्या होता है? Basically हमें क्या लगता है? You know, we are in stress. No, it's not the thing. Your entire family, family का environment, uh-huh. your parents, everyone is in stress. पूरे घर का माहौल इतना stressful होता है. And एक बार हो गया तो now parents are like relax, चलो. You know, at least you got in there. अब वो तुम्हारे ऊपर है. How you converted? Mm-hmm. How you you know converted? That's already on you. Mm-hmm. But once you get there, वो थोड़ा सा relax हो जाता है. एंड फिर जब पीपीओ का बताया तो कैसे ऑनलाइन बताया कि फेस टू फेस बताया नहीं वो पीपीओ का क्या होता था हुआ था कि यू नो जब इंटर्नशिप खत्म हो गई थी दो तीन दिन बाद रिजल्ट आना था तो मैं घर वापस आ गई थी बैंगलोर से एंड फिर मेल आई कि यू नो हो गया है तो आई वाज लाइक एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट वाज उस वक्त मैं फ्लाइट ले रही थी डेली वापस जाने के लिए एंड मैं बस क्या होता है अंदर नेटवर्क नहीं होता राइट right? mm. uh, वो एयरप्लेन मोड में चला जाता है तो मेरे को लगा और वो टाइमिंग था आने का तो मेरे को लगा अब अंदर आएगा तो तीन घंटे पता नहीं चलेगा द बेस्ट आई मीन द बेस्ट पार्ट वाज मैं घुस ही रही थी एंड उसी वक्त मेल आया वाज लाइक शिट देखते हैं एंड उसी वक्त घुसी एंड इट वॉज लाइक यू यू आर सिलेक्टेड तो आई वॉज लाइक ओके कुछ अच्छा हो गया चलो मैं अपने एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर सकता घर जाके एटलीस्ट ये बोल पाएंगे कि अब हो गया आई तो मैं ब्लैंक मेरा हुआ था best memory and worst memory about the internship period or the video okay so i would say the best memory would be first of all my team the people people around and my manager i would say the entire team they were so welcoming mm-hmm. and i remember one incident i was like sitting and i was given a problem i was stuck there mujhe aisa laga tha it's a very basic thing how should i go and ask so my manager manager was around he came up to me and asked us that something is off you are stuck in something mm-hmm. so i was like uh, yes i was like uh, i was thinking it's very basic should i come up to you and ask he was like oh my god why are you even thinking this you should come and ask because jo internship ka period hota hai that is actually a learning period to aapko nahi pata hoga wo cheez to he gave me an example you know back then at my time even i used to get stuck at these things and agar tum nahi puchhoge bahut sare other people are also there who do not know these things to unhe bhi shayad pata chal jayega and you know even you will come out of the situation and usme zara time waste nahi hoga so make sure whatever you was stuck don't feel it silly it's basic i should have known that you just come and ask so he made it very easy for me so the entire internship experience mujhe aisa laga ki you know they are very welcoming made me so comfortable koi bhi problem ho just go up and ask you, they will tell you things and then you can analyze ki aise karna hai you know they will at least streamline you the process so yeah and the worst experience i would say that you would abhi tak to koi nahi hai so that you would i would say <laughs> abhi tak it's been good great and what's the one golden tip you would like to share to your juniors to ace the placement season okay so i would say bahut sare tips har jagah available hai you have so much resources out there now sab jagah internet pe everyone but i would say uh, one tip that i would give is that jo placement season hota hai that is very stressful har roz ek nayi company aa rahi hai some days you are bahut sari companies aa rahi hai ek din pe you are interviewing somewhere you are giving test somewhere bahut zyada mental stress hota hai so be calm you know and just try to you know maine apne liye meditation you know i used to meditate sometimes things just things will not go the way you want okay and that's okay but you know you have to be calm and be like theek hai agar mehnat ki hai to ho jayega you know if you've done it the things at the right moment and the right time will come up to you itna stress nahi lena just make sure ki whatever interview you have given analyze it take feedback अगर हो गया तो बहुत अच्छा नहीं हुआ है तो एनालाइज व्हाट वेंट रॉन्ग व्हाई इट डिड नॉट हैपन एनालाइज इट एंड डोंट डू दैट अगेन दैट्स इट यूज योर प्रायर एक्सपीरियंस इन द नेक्स्ट थिंग सो आई वुड से दैट्स इट एंड दैट टाइम इज वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल नॉट ओनली फॉर यू द एंटायर एनवायरनमेंट योर फैमिली एवरीवन सो ट्राई टू बी काम एंड जस्ट मेहनत करो एवरीथिंग 
बाई लाख हार्डवर्क जब मैच करेगा तो हो ही जाएगा एवरी थिंग विल एपन एट द राइट मोमेंट and uh, what's one thing you would like to advise to people right now going through the internship at Morgan Stanley to be able to uh, like these things should be done to be able to grasp the thing you want Morgan Stanley okay so i would say first is like the project that is given up to you obviously you learn first you have to learn what the project demands what is the business value what are the tech stacks segregated because the best part of an internship at morgan stanley is that you see what you do so whatever project is given to you it is a real time business project so whatever you've done maybe you will see sometime that the users are using it or it's getting used somewhere so make sure that you know what you're doing you're just not doing you have to know what you're doing now the next part is whatever project is given to you you add your inputs to that what other things can be added to it how can it add more to the business side Now the next part is networking. The entire internship is not just about your project. Mm-hmm. It is also how you engage with people, how mm-hmm. you network with people because internship is like the first corporate experience you're having. So you go up to people, tell them that you're new here, how can you improve? You're doing this project, what are your inputs? Make sure you go and talk to people. That is the most important because this chance you might or you might not get back. So and this will be very helpful in the latter and all समटाइम्स कुछ ऐसा होता है ना जो कुछ कमी आपके काम में रह गई आपकी बातों में वो पूरी हो जाती है हाँ सो यू यू नो हमें पता चल जाता है मे बी यू गोइंग रॉन्ग दिस वे मे बी यूर दिस इज द राइट थिंग टू डू एट दिस टाइम सो अगर इफ यू गो एंड आस्क यू वेरी आई मीन द पीपल आर देर टू आंसर यू तो अगर तुम जाके पूछोगे वो जरूर तुम्हें बताएंगे सो एंड मॉगन पीपल आर सो वेलकमिंग सो यू विल फील यू नो एंड uh, मैंने बहुत जगह पहले जब फर्स्ट सेकेंड ईयर में इंटर्नशिप्स करी तो देखा है बहुत लोग ऐसे होते हैं आई गेट इट दैट दे आर नॉट क्या बोलते हैं उसको जो अपने में रहते हैं इंट्रो हाँ बहुत लोग इंट्रोवर्ट होते हैं मेरे को एक्सट्रोवर्ट याद आ रहा है सर बहुत लोग इंट्रोवर्ट होते हैं आई गेट इट बट थोड़ा आपको पुश करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि फॉर एग्जाम्पल दो लोग हैं कंपनी के पास एक जो हंड्रेड परसेंट काम हो जाता है काम उसका बहुत अच्छा है लेकिन जब क्लाइंट से बात करने की याद आती है या टीम में बात करने की याद आती है तो वो बोलता ही नहीं कुछ और एक है जो 90 परसेंट देता है बट वो टीम में इतना अच्छे से इंगेज होता है करना आता है तो वो 90 परसेंट वाले को लेकर जाए उसका थोड़ा काम कम आता है बट जिस तरह से वो कंडक्ट करता है चीज़ों में उससे बहुत फर्क पड़ता है हाँ मैंने ऐसे ही कोई इंटरव्यू देखा था अबाउट दिस इंटर्नशिप थिंग वॉज दिस कैंडिडेट शी वॉज टेलिंग दट शी डिट नॉट गेट अपी यू वाई बिकॉज हर प्रोजेक्ट एवरी थिंग वॉज डन बट शी टोल्ड दैट यू नो माई मैनेजर एंड द पीपल नेवर गॉट टू नो वट वर्क आई वॉज द वर्क वॉज जस्ट टिल मी There was this web barrier. सब कुछ मेरे अंदर था तो यू नो द पीपल नेवर गॉट टू नो द इंटरक्शन सो द मैनेजर एवरी वन जस्ट गॉट टू नो द प्रोजेक्ट नॉट हर सो वेन यू आर एंटरिंग दैट फॉर्म ट्राई दैट द पीपल शुड नो योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड ऑल्सो यू क्योंकि वो पर्सनल टच मिलता है तो हर चीज़ अच्छी हो जाती है सो समाइम्स लाइक देर आर टाइम पीरियड्स वेन योर फ्रेंड्स आर गेटिंग सेलेक्टेड एंड यू आर नॉट सो हाउ डिड यू टैकल दैट फेस क्योंकि बहुत लोगों को उसको बहुत गलत तरीके से टैकल करते हुए भी देखा यू नो दिस इज लाइक या दिस डज हैपन मॉगन स्टैंडी केम इन द लैटर हाफ ओके सो दे वॉज सम अदर प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी दैट वॉज दैट वो कमिंग एंड आई वॉज डिसाइडेड दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू अ फिन टेक फॉर्म ओनली सो फ्रेंड्स आर गेटिंग प्लेस्ड ऑब्वियसली बीन देर डन दैट सिचुएशन बट यू नीड टू बी वेरी काम एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू वॉन्ट सो आई न्यू वॉट आई वॉन्टेड so yeah it's okay i mean that's a placement season you have all your friends you have other people companies are coming they will get into something it's okay that's a natural thing that will happen whatever is meant for you you will get it mm-hmm. so it's okay you need to understand that you know when the right time comes and the right company comes for you and you have the preparation you get it it's okay mm-hmm. and for sure god has decided the best company that is suitable in the best manner for you yeah. maine sabka dekha jo jisko chahiye tha wo kahin na kahin usko ghum kar ke mil chuka hai So yes. Anything else that you would like to share to enlighten the juniors? Okay, I would say just don't give up. I mean, this is a very stressful time for obviously for you because you are sitting in the placement and that this season is very stressful. We all have been there. I'm oh my god. But I would just say that it's okay. Things will turn out the best for you. Just don't give up. Work hard, and things will turn out the best for you. Yeah, thank you. So that was it for the interview, and 
थैंक यू सो मच आस्था इतना सारा ज्ञान देने के लिए बहुत को काम भी आएगा हैंड फॉर श्योर सो इफ यू डिड लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब जो पहले इंसान ने खुद बोल दिया सब कुछ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू सृष्टि इज राइजिंग लाइफ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू बाय कॉट सो यू गॉट दिस यू गॉट प्लेस्ड सॉरी नहीं फिर से बोलते हैं क्या लाइन थी यार आई एम एट द एंड ऑफ द इंटरव्यू यू गेट सॉरी एट द एंड ऑफ द इंटरव्यू यू गेट टू एट द एंड ऑफ अरे बोलिंग